Hi, I'm Nick Moke, Associate Editor for DigitalTrends.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the long-awaited Palm Pre, a device that could be Palm Salvation and a possible iPhone killer. Now, does it really live up to that reputation? Let's take a look. What sets it apart from the not-so-humble iPhone? Side-by-side, side, it has quite a smaller footprint, and of course, you can slide the top up for a full QWERTY keyboard beneath, which is a major feature that has turned many business users away from the iPhone. Palm's custom web OS also pulls some neat tricks that the iPhone won't do, which we'll talk about in a moment. The feel of this phone is generally very solid, and it feels comfortable in the hand, but we are also disappointed in some regards. The sliding motion, for instance, isn't that smooth or satisfying, and when it's closed, the two halves wiggle a little bit, so it doesn't feel all that well built. The keyboard delivers good tactile feedback, but it's also very small, and less pronounced than a BlackBerry keyboard, so you really have to pick at the nubs with your fingernails for accurate typing. The touchscreen does work very well. We think it's on par better than Apple's own very fluid screen, though you know it's a little smaller too. WebOS has a very intuitive, polished feel. For instance, you can swipe back below the screen to move backward in any menu, or drag up from the bottom to get a wavy menu of frequently used shortcuts. You can also easily run multiple applications at the same time, which the iPhone will not do. This makes it easier to multitask. Pressing this little pearl button on the bottom of the phone makes an application appear as a card, which means you can switch to another application, rearrange them, or flick them off the screen to close them. It's really easy to get a hang of this interface. Many other ways of navigating seem borrowed directly from the iPhone, which is a good thing. For instance, the Palm browser works just as well as the iPhone's, with pinch-based zooming and fluid, one-fingered panning. The camera on the Pre pops up quickly, has a snappy live view, and takes back-to-back -back photos almost instantly. We thought it worked a lot better than the camera on the basic iPhone 3G, and the shots look nicer too. One of the most clever features that's bound to make day-to-day -day use much easier is this inductive charger called the Touchstone, which charges the phone as soon as you drop it on top. Though it does get a little hop, the convenience is unbeatable. You'll pay an extra $70 for the kit, though. At the end of the day, we wouldn't call Palm's Pre an iPhone killer, especially with the new iPhone 3GS addressing many of the Pre's advantages, such as having a better camera. However, for business users who demand a hard keyboard, the Palm Pre has to be one of the best phones on the market today. I'm Nick Moke for DigitalTrends.com.